Hello again. Um, here we go. I'm going to do another uh, line and wash, sorry, pen and wash, um, quick video. Um, the first one, this first stage, is just going to be purely the pen drawing. And this is my reference photograph of Townhead Cottages in Grasbeer. Uh, and the big difference is that I've discovered this lovely um, dip pen that I'm going to use rather than a, um, my usual um, technical pen, the Micron or the Unipin, and the dip pen I'm going to use with um, some Winter Newton acrylic ink. So there's the reference picture. Here we go. As always, um, I'm working in my Sea White and Brighton watercolour book and I'm starting I'm drawing direct in ink um, no pencil lines I prefer as I've said if you've been to a workshop or a demo you'll know that I prefer this way of working because um, I do actually think you get a much livelier freer uh, more honest sketch rather than w tracing over um, an existing pencil sketch. Um, what I'm really liking about this dip pen is the fact that the line is, is unpredictable. Um, and unlike the disposable pens I usually use, you can actually get Um, you can actually get a difference in line weight. The um, the harder you you press, so um, that's a, a bonus. Plus, I'm kind of looking for. I'm trying not to force it. The fact that sometimes you can get little spatters of ink. Um, as your pen skips over the over the paper, particularly this rough surface textured paper I'm using in the book. Um, the only disadvantage of using a dip pen as opposed to one of my technical pens is that um, this acrylic ink does take quite a while to to kind of dry before I can put any wash on. Um, but that's a small price to pay for um, the lovely feeling that you get. Well, the lovely feeling I'm getting from drawing with this more traditional method. Um, What I'm going to do is to leave the windows um, just as outlines at the minute because I think I'll put the dark colour in with paint rather than ink because um, I think if I were to colour these in, in in this acrylic ink I think it would still be um, still be drying at Christmas. Um, so here we go, right, there's kind of a section of a, a dry stone wall running across the front, which is uh, another of my favorite features. And it kind of adds to the composition, which is one of the reasons I picked this. Um, this particular view, the reference picture. I'll put some shading in because otherwise the, um, the sketch will just look a little bit flat. Now oh, what's going on there? I think there's a door there. Again, as I say in workshops and demos, um, when you're working from a photograph, you don't have to 
include everything that's in the photograph. Uh, you can add or edit or um, you can do what you like with it really, it's your interpretation. Right, okay, there's a, there's a gate here, I hadn't seen that one, I hadn't looked at the picture too closely. And again, um, rather than attempt, because there's a clue in the word, it's a sketch in a sketchbook. It's not a highly finished architectural presentation, so it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. Um, which is good really because this is far from accurate uh, let's see there's a hillside coming up there and that's coming up there and then up here there's the gable end of a of another building because I think I think this group of cottages I think they're holiday lets, but I do think they're um, part of a, of, of a farm, so that's uh, probably a barn behind it there. And as you'll see when I get onto the painting stage, um, all of these pen lines will be Um, either brought into focus or moved backwards with the judicious use of um, some watercolour washes. Sorry, I'm pausing while I'm talking there because I haven't yet mastered the art of thinking about what I'm drawing and talking. Um, and I must apologise if you can hear some groaning in the background, that's my studio assistant, Billy, the Springer Spaniel, who can't work out why. Uh, I'm talking to myself and not him. Or more importantly, why we're not going out for another walk just yet. So, there you go. I think for now, I think this will probably do for the initial the initial line stages. Um, I'm gonna have to be patient. As I say, make sure that, uh, right, see, there you go, look. That wouldn't happen with a technical pen. Um, just put my wrist on the, on the wet ink and it's smudged. Um, so what I shall try and do See, there's a lesson. With wet ink, you need to work from, if you're right-handed like me, you need to get into the habit of working top left to bottom right and not flitting around flitting around the, the composition as I'm prone to do. Um, wouldn't want you to get confused with anybody that's completely carefully planned the composition and the drawing. So there you go. I think that'll do for now. They are, hang on. A bit more roof line. A 
and we'll do that there. And return to this to add some colour once this ink has dried. So there you go. Thanks very much for watching. See you in a bit. Bye.